Hello, my name is Guy Metric. I am the Industry Vice President of Financial Services here at Appian. Regulatory landscape has continued to evolve really since um, the 2008-2009 financial crisis. Um, and we're continuing to see a lot of regulatory change coming globally from all of the regulators as they look to provide the set of rules and uh, compliance to allow financial services industries to operate effectively and efficiently and for the benefit of their clients. Um, but also to react to, to changing circumstances, changing technology, to make sure that uh, organizations continue to deliver um, the best out possible outcomes across that industry. So we've seen a large amount of, of regulatory change come in recently um, in support of things like operational resilience. You've seen the regula regulation DORA, which is a European regulation around uh, digital oper operational resilience. You've seen uh, regulation reacting to other technologies like um, generative AI. So compliance and regulatory change has is really uh, accelerated over the last three years in order to try and uh, continue this uh, journey that they've been on since the financial crisis, but also to react to changing circumstances and changing technology. The very fact that um, organizations now have such complexity um, means that it is not practical uh, just to have people um, doing manual processes in order to uh, ensure that they are compliant with the latest regulations. Process automation is absolutely essential. If you're looking to um, ensure that your risk controls and your policies and procedures are, are, are adhered to across the organization. Um, being able to evidence that is also key. So it's not only a requirement that you uh, are able to comply with those regulations, but that you are seen to comply with those regulations. So that you are able to demonstrate to external parties, regulators, your internal audit functions, that you are complying with those regulations. When you have manual processes, that becomes very difficult to do. So process automation is absolutely key to ensuring not only that uh, you are following the correct policies and procedures, but that your embedded risk controls are effective and appropriate for the risk that's been identified in those functions, and that you are able then to evidence that uh, to the uh, uh, correct authorities to be able to show that you are compliant uh, with those regulations. So without technology it's, and without process automation in particular, it's incredibly difficult to be able to do that effectively. Well, I think there's a number of things you have to do. Uh, you, you need to be able to manage the adoption of AI effectively across your organization. So en ensuring that you have oversight over the adoption of AI is important. And that oversight committee needs to be able to assess the risks and the benefits uh, that are appropriate use for AI can, uh, can be deployed across your organization. So I think that's the first element. Um, the second one is, is really identifying those uh, value use cases um, whereby AI can be deployed in, in a way that delivers value to the organization. And that's not always about eliminating people or reducing headcount. What we see is very much a a situation where AI is assisting subject matter experts in how they conduct their work. So it is enabling them to be more effective and more efficient in the way that they do their work.